gentlemen, while it is a final session for the conference, a very interesting session, so I now request Mr. Remy to start the proceedings of the dis discussion. I'm also a teacher in France. I'm uh, working in a very prestigious institute. It's a culinary school. It can uh, sound a bit weird, but I'm uh, teaching them how to create innovative restaurants in France. And uh, gastronomy is a very big subject there. And often uh, the students, uh, they tell me, uh, uh, maybe, uh, I mean, they, they, they want to create, uh, and they say that uh, uh, I want to create a, a space which is design, or I want to create a table which is design, and I, I absolutely don't know what is design uh, when they say me these kind of things, uh, which mean uh, design is a very abstract word, and I would like to ask you what is design. So, because we have been uh, using this word so many times during these two days, and, uh, according to me, this is a bit obsolete, uh, this word, and maybe we should find another word to describe what is design. So I would maybe use creativity or creation, uh, which for me means more uh, than design. So I'll be sharing few few words which for me can define design. They are according to me, key words to understand what is my job. So I'll be starting uh, by this word, stories. A wise story, I'm not going to tell you a story to, today, but uh, I tell story to people through my products, and every day it's a challenge uh, to create these stories. According to me, story is even more important to uh, compared to the line of a product, and we should start by creating the story of a product, which means what is this product about, how it will be used, how people uh, will uh, interact with this product. So even starting in the process of creation, even start before starting designing and through the paper, maybe we should write words and wonder why we create this project, this product. Also, stories in another level, uh, is more uh, about the process of uh, creating a product. Uh, every day, almost, uh, I'm in touch with uh, industry, uh, director of uh, big companies, and uh, the story starts from here. And uh, this is a story which is behind the product, which means I go to the factory, I meet the boss of the company, we have uh, a coffee, and uh, we exchange about our vision what we want uh, for the people and what we dream almost. So for me, this is the start of the story. And uh, according to me, there is no uh, good product if there is no a beautiful story behind the product, which means uh, uh, respect for the company with whom we work, respect for the technology they give to us. It's a chance for a designer to go to a company and to uh, really, uh, try to enhance this, that this technology they, uh, they have. So this story is very important for me. Life, okay, life, life is a very big word, but uh, I think we are not speaking uh, enough about the importance of life and the beauty of life in our uh, work, uh, which mean uh, every day and uh, every hours of my life, I wonder uh, what can I do for people and what can I do for your life? Which means, what uh, can I do to fit perfectly your life and your, your need? It's about need. Since one year with Magpie, we have been developing uh, this uh, product for your life. So life is in the, is it, is in the center of the process. And uh, this is really, really important uh, word for me. And you have to respect life. You have to cherish, cherish life. And you have to understand life also. Lightness uh, for me uh, is a very also import important uh, word because uh, lightness is for me modernity. Uh, heaviness uh, for me is uh, past. And lightness is not only you take the product and it's light. It's, it's also a behavior. You have to behave light. It means you have to uh, maybe uh, add some humor in your product. I add some uh, story, some very light story in your product, which add 
another dimension to your product. Lightness is also about weight and about uh, the line of the product, and, uh, but that is more into the, the drawing process. Convictions. Convictions, uh, I guess uh, we cannot be a designer if we don't have a conviction. If we don't have convictions in life, uh, we are not only uh, designer, we are not drawing everyday things on the paper, but we are also politician actor, and we are also socially uh, involved in our society. So this is very important to have convictions. And I guess uh, a designer which doesn't have a conviction and says to me, I've designed this uh, lamp just because I, I, like the, I like the beautiful line. For me, uh, this is not interesting and I'm, I prefer to stop talking and uh, really uh, think about deeper, deeper uh, problem in, uh, I mean, uh, within the object. Finally, vision, because it's a bit like conviction. In fact, when you have uh, convictions, you have a vision. And vision is uh, what I have shared also with uh, Magpie and Vino during this uh, one, year, one year of work. You have a vision because you know where you want to go and you know what, where you want to reach. And uh, you will uh, create accordingly to this vision. You have a vision for humanity. You have uh, a vision to progress also, and to bring innovative product. So now we come to innovation. I'm going to speak about a few of my works. Uh, some of them can uh, look weird to you. I don't know, you will, uh, you will, uh, you will see. But for me, they are inno innovative products. So I classified, if I, say, uh, if I should say, in three levels of innovation. First level is functional innovation. I'll be... I'll be speaking uh, about this project, this kitchen I have done for, I have designed for Magpie, and I'll tell you the story behind. This, um, so I should, uh, I should go back to a little bit the past and tell you how it happened. Vinod uh, Jane came to me and uh, he asked me to design a kitchen which should be for family and we should, we sh which should bound family together. Okay, I, uh, I'm not a kitchen designer, uh, but I found the subject very interesting. So I decided to create a kitchen which is like a system and which has uh, many components in it. And each and every inch of this kitchen is thought deeply and designed. Uh, so we create uh, basically a, a big island which is extended into a, a dining table and you have many uh, intelligent products which has been designed like uh, to place condiments. In the center, you don't see in this picture, but in the center of the table, you have a bowl which is going inside the table. And so you can place uh, your food inside. And at the back, if you notice in the picture below, you have a system which we have designed. And this system is a magnetic, magnetic wall. And this uh, system is a According to me, an innovation. We had this wall at the back and we said maybe we should use some uh, tool uh, from, from the market. And I said no, I said no, I said we have to design our own product. Magpie has a DNA which is to create innovative and new product for Indian consumer. And this should fit perfectly the need of Indian consumer. And so we created these two panels uh, the one at the top uh, has a lamp which is hanged uh, on top of a shelf and all the surface that you see, the white surface is magnetic. So you can put your uh, spice box on, the, on this uh, panel and you can shift the box like this. This is another uh, product which I have designed two years ago and this product has been awarded uh, in Germany in 2010. And uh, this product is, I guess, innovative in the in, the, in, in its function, I thought, how can I design a light which is new? And uh, in fact, I thought of uh, organic shape, and I thought, I, I thought, first of all, about uh, the gesture of lighting, switching on and switching off the light. And so, the light is dimmed. Uh, when you pull down the, the rod, you have the light which increase slowly, and you have the textile which is stretched uh, like this. So it creates a, a relief. So you relate visually to the uh, fact that the light 
increase in intensity, and uh, you have physically the light, which is also increased like this. And when you uh, pull uh, down the, the rod and the light is at its maximum of intensity, the rod stays on place. It doesn't go up. So to switch off the light, you just need to pull it up like this. So this was a, a very uh, important product for, uh, for, for me. The second level is uh, social innovation. I'm going to speak about this project, which we have done uh, for uh, art gallery in Belgium. I'm working also sometime uh, for art gallery in Europe. And we do uh, limited edition for these galleries. And for this project, we wanted to use uh, rattan, but not with uh, normal, uh, I mean, not a normal, but we made it with uh, blind people. And uh, it was a very big learning for us because uh, we went to, to meet them and uh, we had to really change our process of creation and we had to uh, create new tools for them to weave this very big surface of uh, rattan uh, which are woven uh, flat. And when you spray it with water, it becomes soft. Okay. It becomes soft and uh, you uh, put it into a structure, a metal structure. And so like that, it's maybe a new process of modeling object. So it gives a, a kind of sculpture, but more than the object, uh, in fact, I. Uh, don't care about the object. What I care about is the process and the people with whom we work. So uh, I'm still working with them with, for some projects. The third point and the last point is uh, technologic innovation. And uh, this is where I'm going to introduce a chair which we have designed one year ago. And we had a financial help from the French government to create this chair. And this chair is very special. It's now edited by a very big and prestigious company in French called Lin Rosé. And they make very high-end furniture. And this chair is uh, very, very light. And uh, last time I was in the shop in Lyon, Lin Rosé, and uh, I asked them, how does it work? Uh, how is the client reply? And uh, what do you feel about, about the, the product? They told me we never had such a light chair. And uh, people are al always surprised when they lift up the chair to uh, see how light it is. So uh, in a way, it's an innovation because uh, first I mean, we, we work with a cabinet maker and he had to create the mold. So the system is very, is very simple. That, that is a, a detail of, of a table we made with the chair. And uh, this is very interesting. We, uh, the, the concept was to use a uh, veneer so very light, uh, almost a sheet of food like this. And uh, to combine with this very light surfaces, massive wood, uh, which create the structure. For the chair that you have seen, the structure is not the surface. The structure is the structure, means the legs. But in this table, the structure is the surface, the surface on top. So the process of creation is, uh, is completely new. Generally, when you design a table, you don't design the surface first. You design the legs first. But in this process, we created the surface and like the kitchen, each and every centimeters, millimeters of this uh, product is taught. And uh, they called us uh, and they uh, said, uh, we are a broom and brush company, okay? Uh, and we want uh, to make innovative product with our technology. We know, it was, it was really, really interesting the way they, uh, they came to us, they say, we know, but we don't know how to make it, but we know that our product has a potential. We know that we can make something else with our technology. They do homemade brush and ho homemade broom, which, are, which have a very uh, strong quality. They, they are, in fact, struggling in this market of broom because the Chinese and China uh, all the product, all the broom that you see, and all they are imported, uh, expo exported from uh, from uh, from China, and they cannot struggle against them. So they said, "We will make 
exclusive, innovative, and strong, durable product. By the way, I think durability is also a sign of modernity. And that's where the company and the strategy of this company lies. So we, we went to this company. Uh, we saw the workers, it was very good. We had a good dinner. And uh, finally, we decided to create, of course, not brush, but to create something else. Here you can see, uh, well, it, it is a simple box. We are using uh, horse hairs for this, uh, for this uh, box. And the handle, in fact, is, is the hair. So you, 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 you take the box back by, by the hair. It's like you, well, it's like you really uh, pulling the, the box like this. So this was the first step. And uh, you don't see all the detail, but it's, it's really crazy. You can't imagine the number of detail is inside. Each and every uh, hair is put one by one like this on a wooden base. So you can see the wooden base. And uh, it was really a struggle. It was a very long process, but we managed to do it. And the last product from this collection, by the way, we are selling this product. It's working very well in France. We have been exhibiting them in Maison et Objet and everywhere. I'm not giving you too much detail, although it's been too long. But uh, yes, and this is the stool. So this is the same process, and we made a stool out of the, the brush, the broom technology. So it's this exactly, this, as I said, it's the same process. So you have a base, a wooden base, with uh, I don't know how many holes, maybe 100, 150 holes. And each of the holes I filled by the, the, the fiber. It's, here it's a plastic fiber, and it creates, uh, you have to try, but it, cre it creates a very soft, a very, um, a, a very comfortable seat, in fact. So uh, we are not making broom, but uh, maybe we are making gl glamorous broom. I don't know how we can call it. But they are functional, and you can actually sit on it. And it's very comfortable. To conclude, as a conclusion, I think uh, I don't want to use design. I will use uh, creativity. And I think maybe uh, creativity is the key uh, today uh, to create a world which is a little bit more intelligent, a little bit more sensible, and a little bit more smart. So thank you.